Origin 100i. The Origin 100 is the new starter ship. This is to be basically added to our already existing lineup of entry level ships. This is your sort of sleeker, slightly more upmarket uh, model, basically. Um, and this is what we've just been working on and introducing to the lineup. Chris wanted more variety, you know, uh, he wanted to give fans and players more opportunity for, for personal choice, basically. It's very similar to buying a car. You know, what, what brand do you identify yourself with? Is it RSI? Is it Consolidated Outlands? Is it, uh, you know, is it Origin? You know, Origin, you know, we're, um, you know, it's sort of pitched towards a sort of more youthful market. The 100 series is basically similar to the Aurora in that it shares basically the same components, but it's a bit like when you, when you, choose, when you choose your first car, and basically you can choose between a basic first car, or if you have a bit more money, basically you can choose like a, a car that is relatively basic on three level as well, but that is like, well, that, that looks cooler. So it's, it's a bit like this, it's a starter ship uh, intended for new players, but that looks cooler and that, that is basically still about the same. Like if, if you have an Aurora, you don't need to get like a 100. It's, it's just a different ship for depending on your taste, basically. Some people might prefer the Aurora, some people might prefer the 100. So unlike the Aurora series and the 300 series, the 100 series has only two variants. The 100 i is a base model with um, two SCU inside the ship on regular weaponry, whereas the 125A is a combat variant, which can equip uh, military components and has two missile launchers. Uh, and finally, the 135C is a cargo variant with an external uh, cargo pod at the rear of the ship with four SCU capability on top of that, which means six SCU total. On, on top of that, since it's a starter ship, it has all the basics. Uh, it's a single seater. It can do quantum drive, jump drive. It has one bed on, yeah, it, it has the basics basically. You know, we've, sort of, we've been working with a new concept artist on this. The start of a concept is always the scariest and most exciting part. Within timelines, we're trying to hit those beats. We're trying to sort of guess what Chris is going to go for, which is why we always give options. And so on this one, we've provided multiple options right at the start. And so well, there were two very sort of distinct um, paths that we were taking, one which was more sort of 600i inspired. So it was more like an A-class Mercedes, it was, you know, it was slightly bulkier, um, sort of a 600i sort of no shape. And then the other direction was basically the more traditional, um, uh, pointier, sharper, well not sharp, I mean we're talking origin, smooth lines, but more sort of dart-like basically. And those are the two avenues that we explored and, and you know, it's constant of, constant tussle of luxury, but not too luxury. We had to factor in the three, you know, the three variants basically. When you're dealing with the sort of internal spacing, you know, that pretty much defines your ex external shape. Um, and so, you know, you've got the Explorer version, which is your base version, and that has two, uh, two SCU internal storage. Uh, then you have the uh, cargo version, that's got an additional four SCU. And that's kind of like externally located on the ship. Uh, similar sort of method to like the the Aurora has, um, but obviously it's this is you know got a different wrapper basically. The third one is the combat version, um, and that one is again two SCU internally, additional um, additional weaponry. I think it's additional missiles. It's got the sort of Origin style landing gear, you know, with the wheels. Uh, which very few have. And then in the in interior space, you know, it's got this sort of slick fold-out bed, but it's still quite, it's still quite minimal, let's say. And then that leads you into the cockpit, and again, quite a minimal, clean cockpit. So the whole ship is, uh, on the minimal side, you know, you don't want it to, to look modular, you know, it's not like it's going to be like a truck with something that swaps on and off. 
but we have you know we've sort of identified okay these are the areas that we're going to change out if we're going to do any additional bodywork changes uh, they'll probably be, it'll be additive so um, it'll be stuff that we can essentially bolt on obviously it will be blended in because it's origin it should still be something that you know if you are flying around and you know you're stopping at your friend's place and you and you're picking up a crate of Radagast whiskey you know, he, he, you know, you're going to turn up and you're going to be like, oh, that's, that's, you know, that's my ship, that's cool, you know, right? Trying to fit in cargo, it, it, that is tricky. We, you know, we've sort of done the best we can. Um, we've kind of sort of, <clears throat> we haven't tried to hide it. We've just, we've accepted that that, that cargo is there and it's, it's part of the shape. Um, but it's quite discreet actually you know with the modules everything is quite sort of sympathetic though to the origin styling so the base and the combat versions still remain quite sleek the car cargo on as sleek as we can and you know really we've just you know we haven't we haven't tried to hide it away like I said we've and with the color scheme we've literally gone boom this is it this this is the cargo version the hundred series has a sort of refinery item between the fuel intake and the fuel tank, which means it can scoop a wider range of gases out the, out the atmosphere or space or nebulas. It can then convert them into fuel. It's not an endless supply of fuel. Um, you, you can't just go full tilt forever, but it, it does allow you to have a, a significant range advantage over ships that either don't have intakes to recover fuel or have other refinery style items that can't process as much of a, a range of fuel if they can only say scoop hydrogen or argon out of space rather than six or seven different types they're naturally going to be more limited in range and where they can refuel from the i'd say it uh it has finished pre-production we finished concept art we all agreed on the stats on everything has been approved so it, it should be ready for to, to be put on the website we we haven't started production work on it right now like concept art is finished but there's no 3d model or stuff like this to work on right now in in terms of pre-production work i'd say that every everything is done at the moment it's, it's aimed towards the starter mark you know entry level people want to get in and they want a cool ship but something that's sleeker slicker less less sort of less functional looking uh, and so you know I think it's I think it's as simple as that basically it's you know what do you want do you want your BMW do you want your Audi do you want your your Mercedes do you want you know what do you like and why do you like it you know it, it, it it's hard you know you can't cater for everybody but hopefully it'll be the sort of the, the style conscious uh, kind of player and um, you know, hopefully they'll they'll go you know all the way. You know, the, you know they'll you know they'll match their clothes. You know, and you know everything will be part of 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 that scenario. So it'll be interesting to see. It's a ship that is really more for new players. Like if if you are like an experienced player and already spent a lot of time in the game, you wouldn't necessarily want to go back to a starter ship. But for a new player, now you have more choice on. Like if if you want still to prefer an Aurora, it's still fine, but uh, it's it's yeah more choice. I think I'm just looking forward to you know I think it's got some really elegant shapes like uh, just for me visually I I like how it looks its stance um, you know it sits it sits on the landing pad it looks really good um, so you know I can really see the sort of I can already see the sort of marketing and the you know maybe the you know the sort of sizzle reel that maybe we do with it you can sort of really sort of uh, see how we can really push that and how the lighting is going to play across the surfaces and it's uh, that's i think that's what i'm looking for i'm looking forward to sort of a good execution of 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 the concept getting it built and it sort of retaining all the things that we've tried to to put into this concept